Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, in this episode, we are finally going to create the view section of our Ajax to-do list project. One question arises in my mind that I have chosen the same project as my 5.4 tutorial series and also here. Why? Because I want you to feel the difference between Ajax thing and the non-Ajax thing. Okay, so let's start this video by creating the view. So for that, we'll go to our sublime text. And where is my sublime text? It's here. Okay, and obviously we are going to create the view. And for that, we will go to the resources folder. And inside the resources folder, I have the views folder. So let's go inside the views folder. And here I will create a single file. Why single file? Because I don't need many files as I am using the Ajax. Everything will be on the single page and we are going to refresh that page. Okay, so let's create the page. And this will be, let's say list.blade.php. Oh, PHP okay so here is our file and now I will create the HTML5 markup so HTML5 and here it is and at the title I will say Ajax to do list project okay so now I have told you we are going to create the view by using the bootstrap cdn the jquery cdn and the font awesome cdn okay so let's grab each and every cdn from google so i will go here and so i will go here and here i will type bootstrap cdn and okay i will go to this link bootstrap cdn.com the simple way Okay, and here I will just copy this file or oh, this line and paste it inside our head tag and below the title tag. Okay, and now it's time for the bootstrap jQuery or oh, bootstrap JavaScript file. And I will paste this JavaScript file at the bottom of the body. Okay. So now it's time for the jQuery. So jQuery CDN. And again, the first link. And here I will get the minified version. Okay. So I will copy this from here and paste it above the bootstrap JavaScript because bootstrap need jQuery. So you have to load jQuery first, then after bootstrap. Otherwise, Bootstrap, if loaded first, it does not get the jQuery, so it will not work. Okay, and we have done the CDN part, and now I will just create the view. Finally, the view. Okay, so for that, what I will do, I will create a container here. Container, and inside container, I will create the row. Okay. And inside row, I will create the call LG offset of three and also the call LG six. Okay. And this will be dot, otherwise this will not treat it as a class. So now what I will do, I will just press tab and everything is here. And if you are wondering, how I have done these things so don't worry I will create a new series on the sublime text where I will share with you my favorite plugins or packages of the sublime I think this will be the emit I think emit or emit I don't know but it's something like this so if you are using sublime you can use that package you can. and now I will just get the panel bootstrap panels for that I will go to chrome and where is chrome here is chrome and I will type here get bootstrap slash components okay so this will land me on a 
page of the bootstrap and at the bottom you will find this panels so this panel is very useful and I don't want responsive embedded I want panels so here this is I think I like this so I will just copy it from here and paste it here and you can see it's not formatted it's not indented so what I will do I will just press ctrl Z and now I will paste by using ctrl shift and V so I will press ctrl shift and V and you can see it's already indented so this is the power of sublime this is the default feature of the sublime so you can use it easily okay so now let's save this file and check what the result is so obviously we have not created the list uh, route so how will we check so let's first create and now what I have done here I have just pressed ctrl T to get the shortcut search bar and in this search bar what I have done I have just typed web so we get the web file and I think you know for copying we have to copy and then paste but wait here is another sublime magic you have to just press ctrl shift and D and look what happened it just create a replica of the selected part so you don't have to say copy and then paste okay so here I will just create the list route and I will, I will going to return the view of again the list I think so I will say list and you can see we have the panel at the center three margin here and we have chosen the panel of six so three here six at center so remains three so it will be at the center okay so next thing is I want a margin at the top okay for that what I will do I will just give a BR tag here okay so let's go and click refresh and we get this thing corrected okay and now I will change the title here and I will say here only Ajax to do list okay and on the panel content what I want I want here the list items so I will again go to bootstrap components and just above the panel you will find the list groups so go there and just copy each and everything in this section copy here and again use the control shift and V and it's good let's check by going here and click refresh you can see each and every list is here and this is what we want next thing is I want a font or some plus I can hear so let's go and type far plus okay now I will grab this far plus icon from this website copy this go here and obviously I want it after the title so I will paste it here go refresh and you can see oh what happened I have not saved yeah the problem is I have not used the font or some CDN so let's go here and for CDN and now I will again go to bootstrap cdn.com it also provide the far CDN okay and now and it's good go refresh and yep we get the plus icon okay so now what I want I want this plus icon to be clickable and also on the right side so for that what I will do I will just go to sublime and wrap this whole thing inside the anchor tag so for that what I will do I will just press ctrl shift and W and this will wrap the content in the P tag but I want to be a, a tag so just press A and give it a href of hash and a class of pull right pull right will obviously pull the content of this section to the right so let's go hit refresh and you will get the thing at the right place and also 
uh, clickable item okay so obviously what i want i want this plus icon to be clicked and a pop-up came so for that pop-up we need a model not model the mvc model we don't want that model it's model and how will we get that it's a bootstrap component so we will find on javascript section of the bootstrap so i will go here javascript and now you can find it here it's model and i will just copy each and everything from here again i will just do control shift and v so i will paste it anywhere why because it's hidden thing so let's go and hit refresh and you can see we are not getting anything because that model part is hidden for getting that model part what we will do we'll just go to that javascript and grab this button this big button and copy here and paste it anywhere i want because it's just for demo we does not want this button so he ha we have the button but when i click here nothing happens why because you can see the data target for this button is my model and we does not have the id of my model for our model so let's copy this and now create a new id and give it an id name of my model and now i will go here click refresh and hit on this launch demo model and you will see the model is here okay so next thing what I want, I want this plus icon to be clicked and that model came. So I will just copy everything from here and paste it for this anchor tag we have just created. So now it's good and now what we want, we does not want this button. So get rid of this button and it's good. Hit refresh, the button has gone and now click the plus icon and you will see the model is here so i think we have done the view part so if you have any problem in this episode please feel free to comment me if you have any problem in my other videos please feel free to comment me you can also message me on the facebook where we can chat and uh, and get the solution for your problem and here is a good news for you all i have almost completed my website it's uh, just for the sharing of this code that means the source code and i will create a blog for you and for this uh, episode and you will get each and every code from there and you will find the link in the description part okay so you will go and on that blog and you will get the code and you can verify the code of mine with yours so that you will not get any error and still if you get any error well, i am with you always okay so feel free to comment me and and share this video with your developer friends so that everyone gets the knowledge of best thing called level and don't forget to subscribe we will meet in the next episode and what we will do in the next episode next in the next episode we want the model by clicking this and obviously when i click on the plus icon what i want I want only the add button, a uh, text box to write a new item and the title here. And for the same model, what I want when I click here on the item, I want this model to came and here I want the title edit and the text box with the previous item written already here and the close save changes is good and another button called delete button. So we will do all these things on the next episode. Till then, goodbye.